Hey, what's good, everybody? God bless you guys in Jesus' name. Hey, I just want to, I want to, I just want to bring to the body of Christ's attention. And I want to address this because oh, there's some weird stuff going on in Christianity land, y'all. <laughs> there's some crazy stuff going down in Christianity. And one of the things is, is this so-called new thing called monitoring spirits monitoring spirits that some of these so-called preachers on YouTube and some on TikTok and some on Instagram and they want to talk about and scare you with monitoring spirits I always feel like somebody's watching me <laughs> y'all remember that jam? I always feel like Somebody's watching me. Come on, man. And here's what's crazy. Now watch this. We understand that the devil's real. We understand that the demonic, that, that there's principalities and unseen forces that, uh, um, that are out here that are invisible. Yes, we understand that the enemy is real. But what does that have to do with sons and daughters of God that are in Christ Jesus as the book of Colossians says in 3 3, Colossians 3 3, for our, for our lives are hidden in uh, with God in Christ Jesus. And here's here's what's sad, y'all. A lot of these individuals, and what's crazy is a lot of these people have a lot of followers. They have a lot of people that tune into their teachings, but yet it does not add up it does not at all if anything it makes you more monitoring spirit conscious it makes you more demon conscious it makes you more it makes those especially those that don't know who they are in christ it's got people living on the edge fearful and afraid as if the next door they open uh oh monitoring spirit it done creeped come on man that's crazy what's going come on christians are you kidding me ah oh, here's what's crazy see <laughs> i could point the finger at them and their foolishness and their doctrines of demons but but a lot of it has to do with you because a lot of you all are following that mess. A lot of you all are listening to that nonsense. And a lot of you all, no wonder why you're not free, you're not empowered, and you're not enjoying your Christianity. is because you don't understand what the blood of Jesus and being filled with the Holy Ghost and the power of God that is now take that is now take taken residence within you that has come upon you that equips you and empowers you to live this victorious life to be empowered by the spirit and to put the devil where he belongs because he is under your feet come on somebody and we got these Christians running around scared. We got these Christians running around hiding from these monitoring spirits and uh, running around and, 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 and everything is Jezebel. Apparently Jezebel somehow, some way, Jezebel is omnipresent. I don't know how she does it, but she's omnipresent because she's all over the globe. I mean, she must be faster than the speed of light because she's in, she's in everybody all at the same time. I don't know how that happens, but apparently she's omnipresent. Christians sometimes don't even think about what they say. Come on, man. And the things that they believe. And then no wonder why God's people are not living in the freedom that Christ came to bring. Brothers and sisters, I'm not mad at anybody. But, but I saw a video today by a brother on YouTube. And, all, and some of you all may know who he is. And I'm not saying that he's an evil man. And I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that he's that he's intentionally trying to lead people astray and but he doesn't understand his sonship he doesn't understand his identity he doesn't understand who he is as a son solidified through the blood empowered by the spirit of what Christ through the finished work 
being filled with the Holy Ghost has come to bring. See, because all he does is he now puts fear into your heart. He puts doubt and unbelief and he now has got you on the edge and you're not looking around and Is that you? Kukui? That be you? <laughs> That's what we used to say back in the day when we were kids. We'd always be trying to scare somebody. <laughs> See, when I was in the world, I was a trip, y'all. I used to love scaring people. Oh, man. I used to love, you know, uh, <laughs> man, used to work in haunted houses and all that foolishness. Come on, man. But these preachers nowadays, they preaching these messages and out here scaring people and, and, and leading people down this path and this road of this, you know, doctrine of stuff that they do. They got Christians out here tripping, y'all. They got Christians out here look, looking around. And, you know, it's not even Michael Myers no more. It's not even Freaky Jason anymore. It's not even Crystal Lake no more. Don't be going swimming in that lake. Don't you remember Jason Voorhees? <laughs> remember Jason Voorhees? He, he's up in that lake. Don't be going swimming in that lake. The freaky Jason. Oh, you got to watch out for freaky Jason. Oh, he's a trip. But here's what's crazy, y'all. Ah. Here's what's sad. Is it keeps a lot of Christians in bondage. When they keep people indoctrinated with something that they've created a doctrine of because you can't find monitoring spirits in the word of God. We understand there's familiar, unclean, demonials, devils. We understand there's that. But over the last decade or so, these so-called, especially a lot of these prophetic individuals, these prophets in YouTube and social media land, monitoring spirits, mermaid spirits, Come on, man. Are you kidding me, y'all? <laughs> you do understand what the book of Galatians in chapter 1 says, right? You do understand that the Bible says that if we or an angel come preaching and teaching another gospel, and there is no other gospel at all, you do understand that warning that Paul gave to the believers. He's not, he's not talking about unbelievers. He says they're going to be damned into eternal punishment for adding to the word of God. So a lot of these so-called prophets and ministers and teachers upon YouTube and, and Facebook and TikTok and Instagram, y'all gonna be held accountable for what it is you made the people eat, knowing, knowing very well what it was you were feeding them and giving them, and you're not gonna be able to play ignorance because you put a lot of people in fear and you made them demon conscious rather than Christ focused. You made them you made them scared of the devil rather than empowered them by the Holy Ghost and the and the power of the living Christ. Y'all be blessed in Jesus name. Be careful who it is you follow and stay away from that foolishness. Here's the thing. Put the devil underneath your feet. I don't care what devil's name it is. It doesn't belong in your life. You have authority. You have power because of what the spirit of God living on the inside of you came to bring to you so that that way Christ from you can manifest the power and the glory of our Christ. Be blessed, Jesus.